Good morning. Welcome to day four of For Such a Time as This, our devotional. Today's passage we're going to look at is 2 Corinthians 6, verses 1 through 2. Paul wrote, As God's co-workers, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. For he says, In the time of my favor, I heard you. And in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. You know, you know, you and I were made for this time. It's our time to allow the glory and the power and the provision of God to outshine our understanding or even our perception of the circumstances in which we find ourselves today. God wants to grow a kingdom. We, on the other hand, want to sit in our air conditioning. We want to have three course meals three times a day. We want to cover our bills and we want to drive our two or three cars wherever we want to go, whenever we want to go. Folks, we're going to fail if we choose to build our kingdom over God's kingdom. People today are sensing their need for God right now in a way that they haven't felt in a very long time. They are not, they're just not able to control the forces that are viral or epidemic that are going on around them. For a long time, they believe that they could, and now the reality is setting in. I read an article just the other day about an Italian doctor in the Lombardy region where the coronavirus has been one of the strongest areas where it's hit. In that story, it said that he had been caring for virus-plagued masses. He was an atheist, as were many of those other doctors who worked with him in that area. Today, they're not so brash. A 75-year-old pastor who had contracted the coronavirus demonstrated the love of Jesus while he was there in that hospital and ill. And the truth of the identity and the person of Jesus lived through that man over the nearly two weeks as he cared for people before he himself succumbed to the disease made a difference. In those two weeks, many of those doctors returned to the faith of their fathers because of what they saw in that 75-year-old pastor's example. The truth is, this time is about expanding the kingdom of God. It is not about expanding our kingdom. Now I have a couple of questions. Who is watching you today, how you are living through this time? What's the interpretation of the Bible that they see lived through your life? And why does God choose to use the weakness and the faith of folks rather than their fame, their power, or their smarts? Think about these things.